What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on October 30th, 2019. Starting off as usual with the focus on some figures that are available now, you see here that Target has an exclusive Little Mermaid set that does come with a diamond aerial figure and then also a pop tee as well. With Hot Topic, you can pick up the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, as well as the Diamond Miguel figure, and those have been holding pretty steady on the website as well. The Michaels exclusive Anna from Frozen 2 is starting to hit those locations, Michael stores. You see here also Saquon Barkley, the um, particular figure here, is a Fanatics exclusive, so you can go to the Fanatics website to check that out if you are interested. And then getting into some commons here, the Gandalf Pop Ride is available. Also, Alan Parrish from the original Jumanji. You see also here the latest NBA Pops and the latest football Pops. And we're not done with figures that are available now. Moving on here, Box Lunch has an exclusive Icy Viserion, which is a glow-in-the-dark variant, and it seems like just the eyes glow on it. And that does come along with a t-shirt as well. From Stranger Things, they have the monster that was featured in Season 3. And then to the right here, you see that we had the latest Walking Dead Pops. Again, those are all commons available now. The Creeper from Jeepers Creeper is available. I'm not sure about the variant of him yet, if that's become available yet. I really don't think it has yet at this point, but I'll let you know when the variant of the Creeper becomes available. And if I'm remembering correctly, I think that's going to be with FYE. And then we also have here the Pops. Again, these are commons from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Another release, and this is one that I actually ordered myself, and I'm very glad that it actually did arrive today in great condition. We have this GameStop exclusive Batman and Catwoman, which is a comic moment. This looks really awesome. I actually didn't take mine all the way out of the box yet. I'm going to do an unboxing of it, though, probably this weekend on my channel, so be on the lookout for that. But in my opinion, if you're a Batman fan, I think this is a must for your collection. It looks really impressive, especially up close. And like I said, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you all here on the channel. A lot has been going on with the Funko shop since the last Funko news. So, of course, there is this glow in the dark venomized storm which as far as i know is still available right now and with the venomized figures i think it makes sense for her to get a glow in the dark variant and i did decide to double dip i put my order in on that figure and i'm looking forward to seeing that glow up close we also see here the chupacabra which is part of the pop myth line and if you're not familiar with that particular myth of course you can you know look it up do some research on it and this is a different interpretation i think of the look of it from the images that i've seen but it's still pretty much true to that myth you also see here fred and barney rocking their lodge hats there that actually sold out and it sold out kind of quickly which that surprised me but yeah they, they were pretty popular they did sell out so if you want those figures now you would have to go second market for them and then available right now on the Funko shop is the flocked energizer bunny which could sell out i don't know when it will sell out or if it'll sell out but um i'm just gonna say it this way it does seem like this was produced in good numbers but do bear in mind that once something sells out on the Funko shop it is gone you know some some seems like some people are kind of waiting around to see how to try to figure out how popular it is i wouldn't do that just remember when it sells out it's gone so if you have any interest in it I would just go ahead and pick that up. To the right here, you see some backpacks. Yes, those are actually backpacks of Black Panther and Thanos that are available with GameStop. And then something that's been very popular across social media today from what I've seen is um, this Amazon set for uh, Batman Beyond. So they have the whole series collected together on Blu-ray, of course. And it also comes along with a metallic variant of the Batman Beyond pop which does look pretty awesome. Um, trust me, it's, it's a really good looking figure. I've seen a lot of people showing it off. Does look pretty incredible. So if you're a big fan of the series, remember again, you can pick that up with Amazon. So with Hot Topic, of course, they always have a lot of exclusives on the way. And Halloween day, they will have the Metallic Vampire Jack, of course, from Nightmare Before Christmas, a new Michael Myers, and also Good Guy Chucky, which I'm definitely gonna pick up that Good Guy Chucky. I may go for the Michael Myers as well. But again, I think those are some pretty cool Halloween releases. And there are some other upcoming releases that I'm gonna run through, even though they're not all pictured here. So one of the Knights of Ren is going to be an exclusive with Hot Topic, and that'll be the one with the War Club that should release as of November 2nd. Over 9,000 Vegeta should release on November 6th. I do have the Snakehead Jack pictured here. That should release on November 7th. 
Invader Zim and Mountain Lady from, of course, My Hero Academia um, should release on November 14th. And then also from My Hero Academia, Mei Hatsume should release on November 21st. And then on Hot Topic's latest Periscope, they did share some new figures here that you see pictured here at the bottom. They are going to have a great scented variant of the Icy Polar Bear, a flocked buck beak, and also the Diamond Harley Quinn Demon. Again, these are all Hot Topic exclusives and those at the bottom there that I just named are going to be available in December. As their release dates you know, get closer, of course, I will give you a reminder about those. Okay, so again, I did want to point out that BlizzCon is coming up this weekend and they are going to have the Overwatch exclusives that you see pictured here that does include that glow in the dark, basically Halloween costumed Reaper there, which is pretty cool looking. So if you're going to be at BlizzCon, do be on the lookout for these figures. And there are some smaller retailers that are basically taking pre-orders on those, but still, you have to actually be at the convention in order to pick them up. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And you can go to Blizz, um, to the BlizzCon website basically to get some more information about these figures. There is a Hello Kitty box releasing with Amazon this week. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be, but we're pretty much towards the end of the week. So be on the lookout for that if you, you are a big Hello Kitty fan. And of course, there is a pop there included. And then you see some other items there like the socks that will be included with that. So again, if you're a big Hello Kitty fan, just keep checking Amazon for when that releases. And there are some more DIY pops on the way. And these are all Disney focused. And um, these are going to be available with Michael's. Once they start to hit stores, I will let you all know. Some more random bits of information here. The Rick and Morty Season 4 Pops are releasing on November 4th. Start checking for those on November 4th. And the Teddy Rick figure is actually going to have a chase variant where he looks pretty beat up. I'm not sure what is going on with that. I'm very interested to watch, you know, Season 4, though. I'm a big fan of the series, so I'm really interested to see what is going on with all these different variants of the characters. The Spongebob and Plankton with the Fun Letters releases with Amazon on November 15th. You can still get a pre-order in for that if you are interested. I have covered this figure previously, but I just wanted to give you all that reminder. The latest Pikachu pop, which is, you know, him waving, that one was briefly available on, I believe, Box Lunch's website. It's not available right now from what I've seen, but um, basically it's going to have a wide release here pretty soon, and that will be a common figure, so do be on the lookout for it. As I mentioned previously, there is a new Ursula variant on the way. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be metallic or glitter. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think it is going to be a variant of the latest mold of that character. And then there's also a Colonel Sanders Pop Pez on the way. Now for anime fans, some things to look forward to here. There's going to be a metallic Android 16 from Dragon Ball Z, of course. He's going to be a Walmart exclusive. There's going to be a metallic Todoroki, which um, right now I don't know what retailer he's going to be with. I don't know when he's going to release. When I learn more about it, I will let you know. Some people have been asking me about the metallic All Might that's going to be with Barnes & Noble. I don't know when it's going to hit stores. Once it starts to show up, though, of course, I will let you know in a video. But um, yeah, here's a better look at him, and he has started to show up overseas. So just be patient. That figure is on the way. GameStop is getting an exclusive based off Jedi, excuse me, Jedi Fallen Order. They're going to have the Purge Trooper, which you can kind of see pictured here. And that's releasing pretty soon, November 2nd. And then the 10-inch Dio, I'm just giving you that reminder again that this is on the way soon. And of course, once it starts to show up, I will let you all know. Moving right along here, still focusing on Star Wars. You see these gold pops that are going to be with Walmart. They should start to appear as of November 11th. Um, especially um, be on the lookout for the Django Fett, the Yoda, and a couple of these others might start to show up as of November 11th. You can check the website. Walmart's website can be a little bit tricky. Things kind of get listed and then they're not available and then they're available again, kind of off and on. Um, just definitely make sure you check stores if you get the chance as well. So the rumor is true. There is a new John Wick on the way. Um, the figure to me doesn't look super different from the original John Wick, but um, this one does come along with it. You know, his dog as well as pet. So this is on the way soon. I um, don't know exactly when it's going to drop. And Funko did do the official reveal of the Jolly Bee and Hetty Spaghetti two pack, which should be available in the Philippines as of November 8th. As far as Pop Rocks is concerned, Def Leppard are getting pop figures and 
I want to know your opinion about this. When it comes to bands, do you think that Funko should always offer like a, you know, a, a bundle of them together? Basically, like in the case of Def Leppard, a five pack of the pops together. Um, I know they've done this before at music artists, but I think, you know, just in general, I think it should be an option whenever they have a band that's produced as figures. But like I said, let me know your opinion on that. And if you'd actually be interested in that, you know, getting all of the figures together in one box. And we knew that this was going to happen because, of course, there was the Baseball Fury Pop with New York Comic Con. And we have here the Pops based off the Warriors, which I really do like that movie. It's a classic, in my opinion. I know it definitely has a big following for a good reason. It's a very cool movie. And I know there's been talk about Hollywood remaking it. I don't know if that's ever going to pan out, but I think the original still st holds up very well. Very cool movie, in my opinion. And I like the look of these pops. I definitely see myself picking these up. I especially like that, you know, with the um, leader of the rogues, of course, he has the bottles on his hands. They just had to do that. So very cool detail there. And um, yeah, if you're a fan of the Warriors as well, let me know if you're going to go for these pop figures. Now, as far as some other upcoming releases are concerned, I'm going to run through these quickly here. So you see to the right, of course, there is a Target exclusive silver variant of Felix the Cat, which is going to come along with a pop, uh, excuse me, a T-shirt. Um, and that is actually releasing here very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Could be in the next couple of days or so. As far as ad icons are concerned, we already know that Smokey the Bear is on the way and there could be a variant of him with a bucket. Also, Mr. Owl, no surprise, he seems to be on the way. And as I mentioned previously, 10-inch Coca-Cola bear still seems like that is going to happen at some point. In terms of animation, this has been rumored for a long time now, but it still seems like Casper, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost could happen. The Great Gazoo from the Flintstones, I think that's very likely because Funko has done a Dorbs ride previously. And then there could be a Funko Shop exclusive 10-inch Huckleberry Hound. I know that the CEO of Funko is a big fan of Huckleberry Hound, so I could definitely see a 10 inch of that character happening. And then there are pops on the way based off of Baruto, and forgive me if I mispronounced that, and Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I'm not going to butcher these characters' names, but you know, if you're an anime fan, do know that there's always more anime on the way. You know, just be patient. Funko is continuing to work on that. And then with Pop Rocks, it does seem like they're going to be Pops based off of Duran Duran. And I know I mentioned it previously, but I'm putting it out there again that yes, there is another Tupac Pop on the way. This seems very likely. So as I learn more about these releases, of course, I will update you all. Now I'm going to give a spoiler alert here. This may not be a big deal to some people, but I do want to share the contents of the latest Smuggler's Bounty Box. Um, if you don't want to see the contents, if you already ordered the box and you're waiting on it and you want to be surprised, you can tune out of the video. But if it's not a big deal to you, then I am going to go ahead and show those contents for the latest Smuggler's Bounty Box. And here we go. So I think this box definitely has great value to it. You're getting two pops. You have the Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren. You also get one of the Knights of Ren. You get the one with the long axe. And there's a t-shirt as well. And then, of course, they do have two other smaller items in there, a pen, and a, I think that's a sticker. But, yeah, with the two pops and the t-shirt, I think that is pretty great value. And you can check to see if the box is still available um, with Amazon. And it does seem like, you know, Smuggler's Bounty is about to come to the come to an end so the next box apparently is going to be the last box for smugglers bounty and it's going to focus on the rise of skywalker i don't think that's any surprise there and i think that is a fitting end for the smugglers bounty even though i'm sure i'm sure some fans would rather see the box continue but if it has to end i think this is a good way for it to end again with the rise of skywalker so um yeah if you're interested in that box definitely make sure that you get your order in again check with amazon in order to get that ordered so that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. As always, I hope you all got something out of it. I'm still trying to get my voice back to 100%, so forgive me if it's noticeable that, you know, I'm struggling with a sore throat, but I still wanted to get this information out for you all. And I still have not forgotten about the milestone that I recently passed on my channel. And I said I was going to do something for that, and that's coming a lot sooner than you think. So be on the lookout for that. Like I said, I'm not overlooking that milestone that I just passed. I am going to do something for that. But if you appreciated this video, please make sure that you drop a like on it. If you think it's going to help out other collectors, go ahead and share it. Um, that's going to do it for now. And I will talk to you all again real soon.